So we're taking you on a tour of the Gaylord Palms. This is definitely an epic hotel. You have a built-in water park. It's so awesome. Welcome back. We're Paul and Sarah, and we're always ready for an adventure. We're usually spending time outdoors, but this time we're taking you with us to the luxurious and unique Gaylord Palms Resort in Orlando, Florida. We'll explore the outdoors all while being indoors and we'll throw a little party in the mix. Enjoy the show. You guys, this week we're doing something a little bit different and we're checking into one of the most epic hotels in all of Florida. The Gaylord Palms. Uh, it's one of our favorite hotels. We're gonna take you guys on a tour of this entire gigantic complex. It's huge. Check out the food and everything this place has to offer. Like the outdoor swimming and there's a lazy river and hopefully the weather holds out today, but at least for now, we're inside under a huge atrium. First guys, we've got to check in. All right, they have a lot of lines, so it shouldn't take us very long. Checking in. Oh, look at this view in the elevator. Oh, I think we're gonna have a view of the pool. I'm so excited. Wow. We got the king size. This is a really good sized room. Let's check out the view. Oh, bummer. <laughs> We're, not <high laughs> enough. We're not high enough to get the full view. <laughs> We've stayed here before and had an inside view, but this is also kind of cool. Oh, look at that. You can see the top of the slide. It's like you have a balcony. Oh, here we go. Now I can see. <laughs> little mirror check. I've got to turn this off. I can't stand the TV being on. It sounded a little epic. It was like, woo, welcome. <laughs> you know, in true fashion, Sarah and Paul, we brought some of our own food because it saves money. So let's see if they have a fridge. Oh, nope, that's a drawer. Drawer. Hey, jackpot. Look at that. <laughs> uh, we made it. Hotel beds are the best. <laughs> what are we doing first? I think my tummy is grumbling. <laughs> <laughs> there is just the perfect restaurant here called Villa de Flora. And it is a buffet that has, well, I hope it's a buffet. Still. Oh, true. It used to always be a buffet with the most amazing food. We just stuffed our faces. Let's go explore. <laughs> Whenever there's a convention going on, which is almost always at the Gaylord Palms, it's pretty busy. But look at this. We're inside. So cool. So at the Gaylord Palms, you can actually eat inside, but it feels like you're outside. This place is so cool. It's like an Italian restaurant buffet. I mean, look at this view. You know, I remember eating so many desserts here. That won't happen today because most of it has dairy, but you never know. I just remember getting plates of it. Ooh, and I think it just opened. It's noon, so we gotta go get lunch. Yeah, I remember the dessert. <laughs> I used to get way too much. I'm so hungry. Hey. Look at the spot we got. Very nice. A nice spot outside, right? Everything is outside, but inside, which is so nice. What a view for lunch. Not bad. I was telling you having something dessert. We have a great full bar, great selection of wine. Yes, I agree. We do have some dessert. Now, you guys are probably wondering who we're with today. So, right now, there's a dental convention. And my dad was a dentist up until very recently, and he sold his practice. So, this is his very last convention as a dentist, and it's very special. So, we're joining him today, which is why we're at the Gaylord and we thought we'd share it with you. So the Gaylord Palms is located in Orlando, Florida, but there are multiple Gaylord hotels. We've actually been to one in Tennessee in um, Nashville called the Gaylord Opryland. And there's another really big one over in Texas. And I think there might even be a couple more 
throughout the U.S. We've actually been here during a hurricane, and it is so cool to have a hurricane going outside. We're just happily inside, beautiful weather, just eating outside, inside. I know. But the different sections of the Gaylord, which we're gonna see right after lunch, we're gonna go explore. There is a Key West section, and oh, I see them coming. It's our turn to get some food. Yeah, let's go. We found the shortest line. <laughs> Here we go, round one. This looks really good. So this is what happens after you eat the buffet at the Gaylord Palms. Are you filming? I am. How's that nap coming? Uh, I'm so stuffed. <laughs> I might just have to have a little nap too before we get back to exploring. So sleepy. And we're starting with a section called Key West. This is section number one of five. Well, it actually just started pouring down rain. Oh my gosh, that's the best part about being here in an atrium is that it's pouring outside and we still feel like we're on a boardwalk. I know, it's raining outside and it's just beautiful weather inside. <laughs> Guys, there's even palm trees everywhere inside this place. Check out how tall these palm trees are. So impressive. We're actually still pretty full from the buffet, but this restaurant right over here is called Moor, and it's a sailboat that's just floating in the middle of the Key West section. Moor as in mooring ball. So cool. How many times do you see a sailboat sitting in the middle of a hotel on the water? That's pretty special. You come to the Gaylord, this is definitely an epic hotel. I think those are mangroves. One, two, three, four. You know, the other cool thing is sitting right by the water, there's no mosquitoes or anything because the entire environment is just floating. Okay, Key West section is pretty cool. You can have a balcony on the inside with the view of this boat anytime you want. That oh, looks like the restaurant's closed right now. If you love biology, you might really like one of the Gaylord Hotels. Now this Gaylord Hotel is called the Gaylord Palms, and there are many different types of palm trees here. But even more amazing, there's so many different types of plants, and there's so many layers, and. I can only imagine putting this place together, it must be quite a job. And everywhere you look, there's no weeds anywhere. It's highly manicured. I found the booty. Oh, captain's booty. Welcome to Mallory Square. If you remember from our Key West video, we definitely visited Mallory Square for all the sunsets and entertainment and dancing. Don't you just feel like you're transported to Key West? Our next section in the Gaylord Palms is one of the bigger sections and it's called St. Augustine. You can see behind us, we have the fort. This is a famous fort in St. Augustine, so they brought it here indoors at the Gaylord Palms. It includes the, what is it called? Cas the Castillo de San Marco. And many times there is actually weddings going on right here, usually every Saturday. I think there is now. Yeah, I think right behind us. Such a cool area though. I mean, you can see the stones everywhere. There's stone paths all over the place. It's kind of right in the center. And when you first check in, it's the first thing you see. So it's very iconic of the Gaylord Palms. And if you remember when we first came in, we were really hungry. And <laughs> in this Spanish influence section is the Villa de Flora. I'm still full. <laughs> yeah, I'm still so stuck. I can't even think of food right now. Here, let's go explore it. It's spooky in here. I see a creepy doll. Really creepy. I spy bananas. Wait a minute. What do they do with these bananas? Do they eat them? Does somebody eat them? I hope so. <laughs> They're for the monkeys. Right here. 
There's monkeys? Tropical paradise. Oh, I think it's party time right behind me. Oh my god, you gotta see these fish. Look, they think I'm gonna feed them. <laughs> They're big belts are opening. Oh, that's pretty cute. Those fish are so coy. <laughs> This brings us to one of the coolest places in the Gaylord where you can actually see live alligators and turtles right here. He's swimming. He's swimming. Look. Tomorrow they're getting fed, so they're probably really hungry. Our next section of the Gaylord Palms is called Emerald Bay. This is actually the area that we're staying in, so our room, if we had an inside room, would overlook this area. Yeah, let's show you around. You can find really quick bites to eat and all kinds of goodies to buy at the marketplace. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Ooh. Ooh, cotton candy. <laughs> okay, maybe I have a sweet tooth right now. This is definitely the place to get your food when you're here at the Gaylord. If you're trying to save money, if you're trying to eat something like quick bite. And if you want something to drink and you don't want to have pay the restaurant price, you can just grab some water. Look at this. Funky Buddha. Funky Buddha. Floridian. Funky Buddha. Funky Buddha. So this is a yogurt place called Honey Bell. I don't know if they have anything vegan, but we're about to go find out. Much to our delight, there were two flavors of non-dairy sorbet, which we just had to try. Of course I had to get some sprinkles. I can't believe it's actually vegan. And so we have strawberry lemonade and a guava mix. Whoa. That is tangy. The Emerald Bay Atrium is perfect for relaxing and enjoying a meal. It's also where you'll find Florida-themed shops full of clothes and fun souvenirs. It's cold in here. That's cute. Oh, I like it. Now a place I think I would be interested in, and that would be the Cocoa Bean, which is more of a Starbucks coffee kind of place. It was getting late in the afternoon, and we needed to run an errand at the convention booth that would get us into a wild party later that night. The Florida Dental Association puts on a great party every year. And this year, it's the Wonderland theme. Later, we'll show you an inside look at this exclusive party. You really don't want to miss it. This is the convention area, and it's huge. So right now, we got to get a badge so we can get into an after party tonight. So that's pretty cool. Now let's go see one more section of this hotel before it gets dark. Do you hear that sound? I hear crickets. That brings us to our next section of the Gaylord Palms. This is the Everglades. <laughs> That's really tropical, marshy feel. And lots of boardwalks because of course, everything is covered in swampy waters. Yeah, I'm almost expecting like a gator to pop out anytime now. <laughs> and there's even an alligator in there. Look at that. There's like a tree house of a restaurant here. The spa is also in this Everglades section. Well. They certainly don't spare any attention to detail here. The Everglades section is also the home to these really baby gators. Look at this baby alligator. So baby alligators are called grunts. And apparently that's from the sound that they make. This is a Florida king snake. I mean, it's really long. Oh, this is a really good snake. It eats venomous snakes like the rattlesnake. Whoa, oh, it's so big. Actually, I feel kind of bad for him. I'm sure he'd rather be out in the wild. <laughs> that gives me chills. This guy's not even moving. This is an Everglades rat snake. Oh, because we're in the Everglades section. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> I can already tell the Gaylord is a great place to bring your kids because it's a giant playground. And actually, I feel like a kid myself. 
So this was the fourth section of the Gaylor Palms. We haven't even seen the fifth section. That's a brand new section. Last time we were here, it, it didn't even exist. So I know we're going to grab a drink at a restaurant, but if you bring your own wine, there are chairs everywhere and tables that you can sit at. I mean, talk about having a nice view. Good morning. Good morning. Man, dentists really know how to party. They really do. What a great time. We made a makeshift breakfast of our oatmeal and it turned out pretty good. <laughs> what? We didn't have any spoons, so we had to use like the tops of our coffee cups <laughs> as yeah. spoons. Oh well. But now it's finally a blue day and it's much better weather than we had yesterday. So it's time to hit the pool. And explore the final section of the Gaylor Palms. Luckily, since we're in the Emerald Bay section of the hotel, this is actually the closest you can get to the pool entrance. Oh, I think it's going to be pretty busy. There's a lot of people taking the elevator. We made it in and we have wristbands, which apparently is required once you get in here. Not totally sure how it works. There are premium seating reserved and also these flags. I don't know. I have to find some places to park our butts. You see all the little animals? What? Animals. <laughs> the little kiddos. <laughs> yeah, this is the kid pool. So when you first walk in, you've got the kid pool. There are two pools here, as well as a lazy river. So we're going to check them all out this morning. Also in the kid pool at night, there's a big screen so you can watch movies. Ooh, this is a good pool. The South Beach pool. It's a little more secluded. Okay, I see how the numbers work. We can choose a place with numbers. We just can't choose a place that says reserved. This looks mighty fine. Home sweet home. Oh, and actually that was the convention center right there. We were there last night. Boom. We have to sign a waiver for this and it's $25 for a 30 minute spot. I don't know if I could last 30 minutes in this thing. <laughs> Wow, since the last time we've been here, they've installed two massive slides. This is crazy. And you end up in this little wash tub. I think that looks like a lot of fun. Oh my god, I'm a little nervous. It looks like I'm gonna be in a washing machine. My heart's pounding a little bit. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. You're the biggest kid around. <laughs> I know. I guess I'm next. Go ahead and cross your feet. Cross your feet. Go cross your feet. That was pretty awesome. I couldn't even open my eyes because you're just going so fast, the water's rushing in your face. I gotta do that again. I think round two is even better. <laughs> uh, it's so funny when you enter the little washing machine, you're just like, ah. <laughs> Oh, is it your turn? Except I'm going into the little one. It has more turns and see you at the bottom. 
What'd you think? So much fun. I got way more wet than I thought. Here, we gotta get in line. I gotta do it again. This is so much fun. This brings back memories when I was a kid. In Orlando, there was a place called Wet n Wild. It doesn't exist anymore, but it was so fun. All day, slides, wave machine. All right, we gotta catch her coming out the other side. Ah, I think she's coming. You're all wet. I know, I never get my hair wet, but it was worth it. Ugh, that's so fun. Now what do we do? <laughs> so if you're staying at the Gaylord Palm, you have a built-in water park. It's so awesome. <laughs> this time we're gonna go check out another feature they have, which is the Lazy River. I'm feeling lazy. But from up above, it didn't look so lazy. In fact, I think it's called Crystal River Rapids. <laughs> you will get wet! <laughs> That night, we finally got to explore more of the atrium since it reopened after the wedding. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful, and I'm on top of a fort. Inside, in Orlando! What? Side of his done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. It's you and I, the future is. And to our surprise, the Gaylord put on a light show right in the atrium. It's like Disney, it's amazing. So sad to be leaving. Oh, we've had such a great time at the Gaylord Palms. If you've loved this video, give us a like, and don't forget to subscribe because we have a lot more adventures on the way. Oh, it was amazing, but we'll see you on the next adventure. On our next adventure, we discover lake life in Grandpa's backyard, and we finally get something that we've been eyeing for a very long time. Until then, adventure on. Somebody's sitting over here. I'm sorry about that. It's been right. So sorry. <laughs> that was very good. I didn't even realize. Oh, I found the booty. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back now. <laughs> I, didn't mean, I didn't mean to sound that way. <laughs>